Hey guys! Welcome back to Easy Science with Easy Shannon. Today, ang pag-usapan natin ay tungkol sa internal and external fertilization. Internal fertilization occurs when fertilization takes place inside the body of a female. There are three types of internal fertilization, viviparity, oviparity, and ovoviviparity. The first one is viviparity. Viviparity is a development of the embryo inside the body of the parent. For example, human, cats, dogs, and pigs. So ito yung mga animals or organisms na nanganganak. The second type is oviparity. It is the expulsion of undeveloped eggs rather than live youngs. Examples ito ay ang birds, chickens, butterflies, and crabs. So, ito naman yung mga animals na nanginitlo. The third type is ovoviviparity. It is when fertilized egg is retained inside the female, but the embryo retains its nourishment from the egg. It yung nanginitlog, pero the egg stays inside the female body. Examples are sharks, stingrays, snakes, and fish. Now, let's move on to external fertilization. External fertilization happens when fertilization occurs outside the female body like most aquatic animals, amphibians, crustaceans, and some insects. For example, salmon fish. Salmon have internal fertilization. They release their gametes through an opening right in front of their anal fin. So, andito, ito yung anal fin ng uh, fish na yan, salmon na tawag. Okay. Female salmon release orange eggs. She may lay 2 to 10,000 eggs. So, ganun kadami sa isang release. And then, each of these is about the size of a small pea. Salmon eggs are rich in yolk, the material used as the food for the developing fish. Male salmon release white milk. The milk contains millions of sperm. Okay, so it looks something like this. Okay, so ito yung eggs coming from the female fish. And then yung white ay ang tinatawag natin ng milk. And it contains millions of sperm cells. Fertilization happens when the salmon eggs and milk mix. The advantage of internal fertilization is the survival rate is high, though few offsprings are produced. So, ibig sabihin, kahit ko konti yung um, naiaanak, mas mataas or mas malaki yung chance na sila ay mabuhay. The advantage of external fertilization is many offsprings are produced but susceptible to predators. So, advantage nito, mas marami yung yung na offspring na na produce pero maari silang makain ng ibang organism for example sa, sa fish yung eggs pwedeng kainin ng iba pang fish let's move on to the reproductive parts of a flower stigma style ovary and ovule which is located inside the ovary is collectively known as pistil. Pistil is the female reproductive part of a flower. And then anther and filament are collectively known as stamen, which is the male reproductive part of a flower. Natandaan, stamen is male. Pistil is female. Petals are the colorful part of the flower which attracts pollinators such as bees and other insects. 
and then here is the sepal it protects the petals and then the receptacle which holds the flower okay so that is basically the reproductive parts of the flower okay let's recap two types of fertilization we have internal and external and there are three types of internal fertilization viviparity oviparity and ovoviviparity all right so i hope you have to tune in guys a video lecture na to huwag kalimutang i-like and follow my facebook page and i-subscribe ang aking youtube channel isa science with teacher jenny for more video updates thank you very much for watching see ya